What's going on guys, this is Brian from Joker's Wild Deck Review and today we got the Bicycle Wormhole. This is a review request from Casey McCary. Um, it is numbered uh, 1501 out of 2500. It is also already an open deck um, because I like to open my decks. And I know some of you guys have this deck out there wondering what it looks like. Um, I can take you around a little bit. Let's get a little bit more of a focus though. So, this is wormhole there on the front, on the bottom. Ooh, out of focus, really bad. We got playing card co, Boko Po. I, this is like the second deck I've done. Can can somebody comment if I'm doing this correctly? Playing card company, Boko Po. Is is that correct? Oh, uh, let's see here. Excuse me for the focus. There you go. Connecting two distance, two distance space time. All right, let's get her open. For you guys wondering what this deck looks like, it's almost like the astronaut deck uh, in regards to colors. They do pop. Let's do this. I got. It. There we go. They do pop. Um, I cannot even read this looking away from the camera right now. A um, little story about the company in the deck. Da, da, da. So look at that. There's your backs right there. Zoom in a little bit. Wormhole. Cool. Alright guys. Excuse my focusing. Gosh, I gotta get autofocus to work on this thing. Alright. So hopefully this is in focus and y'all can see it. There's Joker number one. Really cool space theme in the background. I really enjoy. At first I didn't like this deck very much, but the more I looked at it, the more it grew on me. So Joker number one. Joker number two. Only difference is the coloring right here. Red and blue. There is your ace of spades. This kind of threw me off. Because honestly, it looks like I gotta get you guys in focus so much better. Good lordy. There we go. So, this threw me off because that looks like an ace of diamonds. But it's a spades. It is a spades. But look at the negative effect with the art on these cards and the pips. Absolutely amazing. And I don't know why the middle one, middle pips are always darker than the rest. It blows my mind. There you go. And one thing I noticed right off the bat with these cards. Okay, I'm getting in closer. I want you guys to see this detail. All right. Look at how they took the background like that, the like the galaxy background, and just overlaid the jack. on the courts. That is absolutely amazing. The genius to think about something like that. Same thing with the queen. King. Where's your ace of diamonds? Where's your two? Alright, that should be better now. And it's the same thing when you go across. So there's really nothing much, you know, you're, you're going to have your typical courts. The background stays the same. The only difference is the red and the blue on the numbers. I mean, look at them pop. That's, that's freaking epic. I do like that. Let's zoom out for a little bit. So... You don't want to see. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. I I'm under the weather today. I'm not feeling that great, but I'm also having camera issues that's starting to really piss me off. So, if you guys know of uh, how to work Canon cameras, um, please 
send me a PM because I have some questions that I cannot find on the internet. There you go, guys. It's it's a special deck. It's nothing too special. Um, now you guys know what the deck looks like, what you may have. Um, I don't know. What do you guys? Let's see if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but I want to see because I want to see the galaxies really pop out. There you go. Not the best, but it's what I can do because I don't have the table viewing pad dingy. That's it, guys. That is a bicycle wormhole. It is a numbered deck. <sighs> I can't tell you anything much more about it. I, I really can't. So let's just do this one more time. There you go, guys. Bicycle wormhole. It's worth the money. Um, if you can find it, I'd buy it. I don't even know if they're still for sale. See ya.